Don't just live for tomorrow Or just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Return of the Living Dead. This is a donation reward, I believe, for Venom 0027. Let me just make sure, yep. And, yeah, I am definitely, uh, definitely interested to see what this is about, because I have heard a lot of things, and I have seen a single clip from this, and you probably know what clip I'm talking about. I'll leave it at that. Uh, but you may be wondering a couple things. First off, why am I back out here instead of in the living room? As you know, I've been record or instead of in my bedroom. As you know, I've been recording out in or over in my new bedroom uh, lately. Um, but I've de I I've decided I'm gonna do movies out here because movies are you know longer and everything. And while the seat I have in there that my brother left for me. Um, may not be uncomfortable it's still not the most comfortable <laughs> and for a movie i think i'd rather be out here and be a little more comfy you know that that's really all it comes down to um but yeah so return of the living dead so i only know the one scene and i know that it is a horror comedy so it's not going to be trying to take itself seriously like other Living Dead films or just other horror films in general. It is comedically based. Um, other than that, I don't really know much of anything about this. So it's going to be interesting to see. But here's a weird little fun fact for you. There's three of these movies, I believe. I believe this is a trilogy of films. Uh, the Return of the Living Dead, I, I should specify. And the weirdest fucking thing is, I've seen the second one. But never the first or the third. And I don't know entirely why it just kind of happened. Um, from what I know, it was just like on TV at one point. My dad was watching it or something, or... Maybe I was flipping through channels and I just stopped on it randomly. But I watched it. And I don't remember much from it because this was years and years and years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I do know I have seen the second one. Um, so that's... It's a really interesting little fun fact. Um, I don't know if this trilogy has anything to actually do with each other. Um, cause again, I don't remember pretty much anything from that, from the second one. Um, and I've never seen the first or the third, so I, I really have no context in that regard. But I'm definitely interested to see what this is like and, well, just what quality it's had. Cause I, I've heard a lot of people calling, like, like this film, like, saying it has one of the best like scenes in zombie movies um but that's referring to that one scene that i've already seen so uh but people always talk about that one sh that one scene and i just don't know what the rest of the movie's like i don't know who's in this i don't know if i know any of the actors who's in it i i just don't know um but yeah for like future reference as well um Venom, if you wanted to request the other movies in this trilogy, I... I mean, you could request the second, if you want to. I'm just letting you know that I did see it once before. But again, it has been years and years. Um, I was probably in maybe high school at the time. Which would have been over a decade ago. Um, yeah, because I believe it was down in Georgia where when I saw it. Which would have been high school. But if you want to request it, you can. If you want to skip to number three, you can. When, if you ever decide to request the other ones of this trilogy in the first place, that's up to you. But that's for the future. Um, in the meantime, 
we got this and we actually got quite a lot of movies on our list right now because of we're doing this june special where it's like you get two reactions for the price of one uh every donation gets you two reactions so because of this special we have a couple people already taking advantage of it and so we've got quite a few movies on the list and as i've been tending to do lately i'm just kind of picking and choosing from them whichever i want to do at whichever time um and, and we'll just kind of go from there um but i do also want to take this moment to say um we might be do just because we do have so many movies at the moment we actually have quite a lot um we might be doing multiple movies a week when possible only when possible of course obviously i want to record other stuff too I, I i need to keep up with the weekly reactions and all but we'll try to get to like two reactions for movies a week if we can um obviously anything can change obviously i i can't promise anything but that's the that's that's the goal at the moment you could say um just until we cut them down a little bit because there's just again there's just so many of them but that's by no means uh a request to stop well requesting them if you have anything you wish to donate for please feel free add more to the list that's always welcome um and as i've said before um any donation no matter how big or small gets you a reward or for the month of june two rewards um it doesn't matter how much you can or wish to donate anything any any donation no matter the size gets you the rewards um and you can request anything a movie a series uh something on youtube whatever you want um movie reactions are usually once or again we're going to try to do twice a week for the time being um and we're probably just going to like take over a slot from the uh first impressions reactions for now because honestly for now uh we need to cut down on those a bit because we only have like so many slots we can use for those and so many to catch up on as it is that's different than movies um but yeah th those will come up in the slots the movies will be like twice a week and then the youtube stuff if you request anything from youtube um that will just basically be whenever i can get to it um there won't be any like scheduled thing for that that can just pop up anytime um because youtube videos usually aren't too bad um too hard to get to unless you request like some really long youtube videos <laughs> um but that'll still be whenever i can get to it either way um so yeah that's the plans for now just with upcoming donation rewards movies and everything and we'll see how it goes like i said we'll try to do two a week for now we'll try but no promises on, on that sticking too too easily um but that being said let's get to this film and yeah i don't know exactly what to expect from it um i'm hoping for some good things i'm hoping that it's funny and entertaining um we'll see so let's just get this going and hope for the best and stress over my hair not cooperating <laughs> still uh the problems with having autism is like you get distracted by the simplest things either way let's get this going so when the screen fades to black pause this redirect and go to the description below follow the link to the reaction and after you watch it come back here to the redirect and resume play because after it fades to black and fades back in everything to that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode or to the movie rather so that being said thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you at the reaction and we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in three two one now well that was fun that, that that's how i would describe this movie fun it was stupid it was dumb it, it there was obviously a lot that was over the top and corny and ridiculous 
But but that was clearly the point. It, it was clearly a parody of these kinds of zombie movies, the Night of the Living Dead and everything. Um, it, it was clearly meant to satirize that and showcase the silliness of it. And I think it succeeded. It was it was dumb. All of the characters are really fucking dumb. <laughs> um, and, and the situations, like it even kind of uh parodies the entire you know how in a lot of these horror movies you you see the like girl get naked and everything um so it parodies that with a character who's naked throughout a good portion of the film and even after a zombie she's like this naked zombie babe walking around <laughs> um it was it was interesting um so so the scene i had seen before as i mentioned in the reaction was i i had seen the tar zombie i guess you could call it um i had seen that one before the which i guess was actually the original one that was in the tank um i had seen the scene with that before when it first uh, appeared um it, it's kind of a very well-known scene in terms of horror movies and whatnot um and, and i didn't have the context for it and everything so most of the time through knowing that scene i thought this was like from an actual like serious zo zombie film it was only more recently that i that i found out that this was a comedy film so that, that was like probably within the past year i would say i don't know exactly when but yeah i'd seen that before um none of the characters in this are super memorable outside of uh two of them one of them being the naked girl. Um, I, I didn't catch all their names. A lot of the teenagers like had these like ridiculous nicknames that are like like one of them was like suicide and shit. It's like I saw I, I don't I didn't like really fully catch all their names. But the other one was the the one guy, uh, Fred, Freddy, I think. Um, the the teen who was working with his uncle in in, in the first place, and you know was one of the first like people to get involved in all of this um those were the only two really memorable ones all the other ones were just really kind of very bland generic archetype characters none of them stood out um e even the coroner and everything like he almost got there but he just he didn't do anything like in the long run he just didn't do anything again the only two that stood out were those two um the the kid freddie he he kind of stood out because he came across as honestly almost a little bit like a like the character you're supposed to kind of root for and and kind of see oh almost see the perspective through since he's one of the first characters you see and everything but like it's very clear from like almost right away in the film very early on that he's dead like they don't even try to hide that so even though he he kind of comes across as that kind of like likable everyday character and everything and is kind of a character you would root for you already know there's not any saving him and then again the the naked girl like is only really so entertaining because of her personality being so off the wall crazy and everything like she's so ridiculous and over the top and everything it's it, it's it's silly and it's again it's making fun of these kind of characters and these kind of tropes in these kind of movies that's the point um and i think i, I think the actress i guess pulled it off well like I, I think all of the actors like clearly did their job in making this goofy and silly and ridiculous um they were entertaining there were some good funny moments in this for sure some moments that were just like just left me kind of scratching my head like the fuck are you even thinking like what <laughs> and it's like it, it, it was entertaining it was fun and then we get to the smart zombies as i said in the reaction i've never been a big fan of the entire smart zombie trope i think it takes away from the point of zombies for me a zombie is supposed to be 
mindless, a mindless killing machine going after brains solely for the sake of instinct. There's no intelligence there. There's no uh, ability to form cohesive thoughts. It is purely an instinctual, monstrous creature. That's what a zombie is to me. So I've never been a fan of that. But in a comedic set setting like this film, this is where it can work. If you're taking it as a comedy and not treating it seriously as a zombie film at all, then it can work because it's obviously for parody's sake. But smart zombies in regular zombie media just, in my eyes, doesn't work. Um, I, I've talked before about how my favorite zombie movie is Train to Busan. The zombies in that aren't smart at all. They are ex in instinctual monsters who just violently attack anything they see or hear. They are made so effective because of the extras playing them, but also because of the twitchiness, the the constant twitchiness that those zombies uh, have, um, the designs of the makeup and everything, as well as just the pure, just intensity of how they're portrayed compared to other zombies. Um, in this, the zombies, like even outside of just the talking and everything outside of the intelligence they're just a little more active than regular zombies but are still just kind of typical zombies the the intelligence is the only thing that really makes them stand out and it's used for comedic effect like it's like oh we ate the paramedics zombie calls on uh, on the radio send more paramedics we ate the cops zombie calls on the radio call more cops it's like, yeah, the joke there is funny. It works. And that is what lends itself to the entire, you know, speaking thing. Um, and then there's the tar zombie who only said like a couple things, like bra brains and variations of that. <laughs> um, but the zombies that were like forming cohesive like sentences and stuff, like the ones that did call on the radio, it's like, that's silly. That's ridiculous. And it's... It's wild. And the, the ending. Like, I was thinking in my head, like, the only way you're going to get rid of these things, considering, like, destroying the brain doesn't work on them, or cutting them into pieces or whatnot, I'm thinking, like, in my head during actually quite a bit of the film, the only way you're going to get rid of these is if you fucking nuke the place. And that's practically what they did in the end. <laughs> Um, they, they, they sent a missile and blew the entire area up, not realizing, though, that the rain was, uh, a factor in that, that the rain was causing, uh, the zombies to rise up and everything, so, yeah, and kind of ends with the cliffhanger, like, oh, it's not over. All the characters we knew uh, throughout this movie, outside of the, the general or whatever he was, who was far away um all the other characters we were like following throughout this movie are dead every single one now all of them turn into zombies some were just vaporized in that explosion but some but they're all dead every single one and it's like that's that's an interesting choice to just go that far with things but at the same time it's like yeah the military probably would just do that would like Keep them on the line, encourage them, but then just blow them the fuck up. It's like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> um, it was fun, though. I, I actually had a really good time with this. Um, it was enjoyably stupid. And I can get behind that. Um, so, yeah. Definitely uh, would be interested in continuing with these in the future. Um... And again, I've seen the second one before, but it has been well over a decade. So I could probably see it again. I, I, As I said, I don't remember anything. And seeing this movie didn't jog any memories, though I don't think it necessarily would. And there is a third movie as well that I just haven't seen at all. So I don't know. Uh, but I'm definitely willing to see more of stuff like this 
So tell me in the comments below, what did you think of Return of the Living Dead? And if you have any suggestions for future stuff, remember uh, donation rewards are always open. And for the entire month of June this year, 2022, you can uh, get two rewards for the price of one. For every donation, you get two rewards this month instead of one. And the donation can be any amount. It can be any amount, big or small, whatever you can and want to donate. And you don't even have to. It's completely optional in the first place. If you don't want to, if you can't, that is perfectly fine. Nothing on the channel will ever be behind a paywall, so you never have to worry about that. In the meantime, though, thank you all so much for tuning in. And for now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.